I would venture to guess that Anon, who wrote so many poems without signing them, was often a woman. Lock up your libraries if you like, but there is no gate, no lock, no bolt that you can set upon the freedom of my mind. Books of the mirrors of the soul. Why are women so much more interesting to men than men are to women? One cannot think well, love well, sleep well, if one has not dined well. If you do not tell the truth about yourself, you cannot tell it about other people. I can only note that the past is beautiful because one never realizes an emotion at the time. It expands later, and thus we don't have complete emotions about the present, only about the past. Writing is like sex. First you do it for love, then you do it for your friends, and then you do it for money. As a woman I have no country. As a woman I want no country. As a woman, my country is the whole world. When you consider things like the stars, our affairs don't seem to matter very much, do they? As long as she thinks of a man, nobody objects to a woman thinking. The eyes of others our prisons, their thoughts our cages. No need to hurry. No need to sparkle. No need to be anybody but oneself. Growing up is losing some illusions in order to acquire others. There was a star riding through clouds one night and I said to the star, consume me. Women have served all these centuries as looking glasses possessing the magic and delicious power of reflecting the figure of man at twice its natural size. Nothing thicker than a knife's blade separates happiness from melancholy. I am rooted, but I flow. Second-hand books are wild books, homeless books. They have come together in vast flocks of variegated feather and have a charm which the domesticated volumes of the library lack. A woman must have money and a room of her own if she is to write fiction. Love, the poet said, is woman's whole existence. All Lando naturally loved solitary places, vast views, and to feel himself forever and ever and ever alone. All extremes of feeling are allied with madness. I thought how unpleasant it is to be locked out, and I thought how it is worse, perhaps, to be locked in. The history of men's opposition to women's emancipation is more interesting perhaps than the story of that emancipation itself. I am reading six books at once, the only way of reading. Since, as you will agree, one book is only a single unaccompanied note, and to get the full sound, one needs ten others at the same time. The truth is, I often like women. I like their unconventionality. I like their completeness. I like their anonymity. Melancholy were the sounds on a winter's night. So long as you write what you wish to write, that is all that matters. And whether it matters for ages or only for hours, nobody can say. I have lost friends, some by death, others by sheer inability to cross the street. I am made and remade continually. Different people draw different words from me. To look life in the face, always, to look life in the face, and to know it for what it is. At last, to love it for what it is, and then, to put it away. What does the brain matter compared with the heart? I have a deeply hidden and inarticulate desire for something beyond the daily life. I meant to write about death, only life came breaking in as usual. Literature is strewn with the wreckage of those who have minded beyond reason the opinion of others. It might be possible that the world itself is without meaning. I see you everywhere, in the stars, in the river, to me you everything that exists, the reality of everything. When I cannot see words curling like rings of smoke round me, I am in darkness, I am nothing. 
I don't believe in aging. I believe in forever altering one's aspect to the sun. Blame it or praise it, there is no denying the wild horse in us. Anything may happen when womanhood has ceased to be a protected occupation. She thought there were no gods, no one was to blame. And so she evolved this atheist religion of doing good for the sake of goodness. I worship you, but I loathe marriage. I hate its smugness, its safety, its compromise, and the thought of you interfering with my work, hindering me. What would you answer? I'm sick to death of this particular self. I want another. Each has his past shut in him like the leaves of a book known to him by heart, and his friends can only read the title. I am in the mood to dissolve in the sky. I want to write a novel about silence, he said, the things people don't say. Just in case you ever foolishly forget, I'm never not thinking of you. It is a thousand pities never to say what one feels. They went in and out of each other's minds without any effort. The beauty of the world has two edges, one of laughter, one of anguish, cutting the heart asunder. Fiction is like a spider's web, attached ever so lightly perhaps, but still attached to life at all four corners. I detest the masculine point of view. I am bored by his heroism, virtue, and honor. I think the best these men can do is not talk about themselves anymore. To love makes one solitary. How many times have people used a pen or paintbrush because they couldn't pull the trigger? Really I don't like human nature unless all candied over with art. Arrange whatever pieces come your way. I feel so intensely the delights of shutting oneself up in a little world of one's own, with pictures and music and everything beautiful. I feel a thousand capacities spring up in me. I am March, gay, languid, melancholy by turns. I am rooted, but I flow. It is far harder to kill a phantom than a reality. It is in our idleness, in our dreams, that the submerged truth sometimes makes its way to the surface. I need silence, and to be alone and to go out, and to save one hour to consider what has happened to my world, what death has done to my world. Friendships, even the best of them, are frail things. One drifts apart. Often on a wet day I begin counting up, what I've read and what I haven't read. But then anyone who's worth anything reads just what he likes, as the mood takes him, and with extravagant enthusiasm. I was always going to the bookcase for another sip of the divine specific. Never let anybody guess that you have a mind of your own. Above all, be pure. Women and fiction remain, so far as I am concerned, unsolved problems. Happiness is in the quiet ordinary things, a table, a chair, a book with a paper knife stuck between the pages, and the petal falling from the rose, and the light flickering as we sit silent. The most extraordinary thing about writing is that when you've struck the right vein, tiredness goes. It must be an effort, thinking wrong. Once she knows how to read, there's only one thing you can teach her to believe in, and that is herself. Green in nature is one thing, green in literature another. Nature and letters seem to have a natural antipathy. Bring them together and they tear each other to pieces. Life is not a series of gig lamps symmetrically arranged. Life is a luminous halo, a semi-transparent envelope surrounding us from the beginning of consciousness to the end.